hey guys you are welcome back again to my channel if you are not already subscribed please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel and like and share i'm not your ex remember okay so today like you already know i'm in england and i am in nottingham with okay i call him a friend i call him an advisor i call him papa see anthony is like a therapist a doctor a <laughs> if you have problem there is no way we talk to you and your your head will not be correct so yeah meet my friend a a y a k anthony a k adj what's up guys my name is ayodele anthony adj friends call me a y and like she said a whole lot, a whole lot of people give me headaches i still have headache from last night for whatever reason i'm not going to share with you guys but yeah yeah that's me and uh truth be told i don't even know what i'm doing here so get yes. started with it okay so today we are going to be talking about friendship and loyalty what does friendship mean to you so we are just jumping oh, into Jesus. it anyhow you talk ham now say we talk ham we are not even going to um sugarcoat anything so please I'm, I'm not even editing this video so much so that you can see it raw oh yeah let's go so what do you understand by friendship what is your i mean what does friendship mean to you because you you hold your you hold your friends so tightly and you're very i was telling your wife yesterday i said there's this you have this very protective nature when it comes to friends and you know there's this loyalty you know you hold people that are loyal to you and you you know that's what, what friendship is uh -huh. if, if you're friends with somebody you know you should be able to protect them against all odds. you should be able to back them up you know good or bad you know you, sh you should be there for them basically that's what friendship is you know you should have somebody you share ideas with somebody mm -hmm. you you kind of have the same perspective of life with you know you share similarities and uh, you don't have to be exactly the same but you share a whole lot in common and you know and you can build a friendship from that so what do you talk about loyalty like when it comes to friends friendship what is what does loyalty mean to you and what's your breaking point what's your okay i'm done um for me personally when you talk about loyalty i think a whole lot of people have a different meaning about loyalty loyalty is not just when you follow somebody blindly because you're friends or mm. you know, whatever relationship you have loyalty is when you know you can be rest assured anytime any day good or bad you can be true to them you know and that's speaking the truth even when it's gonna hurt them you know or you know you don't just back them up blindly you know when you back somebody up it doesn't mean you're backing them up blindly but you know telling them the truth that would help them you know is still backing them up eventually because if you don't tell them the truth they'll leave you know that situation you know in a bad state because they don't know the truth and you know the truth you didn't tell them mm. and uh what else what was your other breaking question? breaking points in friendship like in general in friendship uh I honestly don't really believe in breaking points when it comes to friendship. And I know a whole lot of people that have been friends with me in the past and are no longer friends with me today will probably think, what the hell is he talking about? We used to be close and we're not close. So I wouldn't really call it breaking point. I just think, um, you know, like the Yoruba people would say, you know, uh, 20 friends are not going to be friends for 20 years. Mm. You know, so I think it gets to a point where, you know, if you believe that this person doesn't share the same notions with you anymore, you don't have a whole lot of similarities that you probably had before, you know, you, there's no point being friends with them anymore. You know, it, it's not a bad thing. It's not you being arrogant. It's not you being filled with pride or having ego or whatever it is anybody want to tell me. It just means that your your what's that word I'm looking for? You know, your 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 yes. thinking, mm -hmm. you know, are not in line anymore. You know, mm -hmm. so at that point in time it's time for you to go your separate ways. It's as simple as that. You don't want a friend that, you know, when when the two of you are talking or sharing ideas, you know, to you you're talking to a mad person and to the other person you're talking she he or she is talking to a mad person. At mm -hmm. that point in time, you know, you're not in tune anymore and there are so many reasons that could cost that 
you know it could be backgrounds it could be upbringing it could be change of environment it could, it could be a whole lot of things you know i know a lot mm -hmm. of people that you know uh we don't we're not like enemies but we, we're not as close as we used to be because of a whole lot of reasons you know and most of that reasons could mean that maybe uh um you know you're in a different position mm. you know compared to where they are currently not in the bad way not like you're now rich or you're not popular or you've got so much money now and they don't that's not what i'm saying it could be it could be different environments it could be different uh, uh um you know occupation mm -hmm. it could be different cities or different countries it could be a whole lot of factors you know it could be marriage you know mm. you know there's so many things I've, i i used to have a friend who got married and then i realized that everything in his life is being dictated by his wife mm -hmm. and that's not a problem my home is similar in some way but uh um it got to a point where you know up to friendship you know mm -hmm. when you know and it's, it's not wrong to live that way don't get me wrong but you know if it's gotten to a stage where i'm not certain about you because i know you're not you know, in control of yourself anymore your wife can wake up today and say you know what don't go out with this guy or you know i'm stranded somewhere and i want to call you as a friend to come help me out and well your wife can tell you sit down there don't help him he's mm -hmm. going to sort himself out you know it's time to let go yeah you know it means i can't count on you anymore because you can't even count on yourself anymore mm -hmm. you know and that's what that's why i'm no longer in tune with that person not because we have any serious problems but because i realize you know he doesn't got me anymore as much as I would want him to got me, as much as I would got him, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm talking too much now. Go no, on. no, no, that's good. But personally, I feel that every friendship at its mm. breaking point, you know, a friendship that the foundation doesn't have respect is in for a disaster. A friendship that does not have uh, a good foundation. For me, I think the old friends are the best friends. Uh, I get where you're coming from, but when you say a friendship that doesn't have a good foundation, yeah, yeah, it means you yourself you've been living on a bad foundation. Bad that friendship foundation, shouldn't yeah. have started in the first place. So I'm not talking about a friendship that was forced to start mm -hmm. when it shouldn't have started in the first place. And that's the problem with a lot of people. You know, you meet everybody and you think you can be friends with everybody. You know, there are some people you meet in life and all they would ever be to you is hello hi. Yeah. You know, and there's some people you meet in life and all they will ever be to you is sharing lunch at work. Mm -hmm. You know, and there are some people you meet in life and there will be more to you, you know, visiting, being together at parties, you know, being the first to get your invites whenever you have a party, you know, so there are different stages of friendship. Mm -hmm. It's not every friendship that ends up that being ends like up a tight being... friendship. Uh -huh. okay. So if you don't okay. know what friendship to pursue, you know, that's on you. If a friendship started on a bad foundation, why did you start it in the first place? And talking about bad foundation, um, in a different perspective, I don't. I, it depends on what you see as a bad foundation. Everybody is different, you know. I've got a friend who would turn off my DSTV while I'm watching a very interesting program, knowing fully well that that DSTV is going to take another ten minutes to come back on. Mm -hmm. You know, and he does it with so much joy. I know it's crazy, but that's that person, yeah. and I'm able to understand that. And I have another friend you know who would want to know every single thing about you but you probably wouldn't know a thing about them so you mm. need to understand that people are different and if you're happy to cope with those differences hell no there's nothing stopping <laughs> you from being friends with those people because you would probably have your own problem as well mm -hmm. that you don't know that they are coping with yeah you know so so that that might be different from a bad foundation depends on what you call a bad foundation that mm -hmm. could be this is this person you know, and I've understood that this is this person's character and I've learned to live with it and I've learned to call them my friend because mm -hmm. I can cope with that part of them. You know, but if you have somebody that you cannot cope with their bad character, you know, it doesn't mean they are bad. It just means that you cannot cope. There's probably somebody else out there that is as mad as they are that they will have a very good bond together. Yeah. So sure. you don't have to be friends with that person. They would find somebody else that would be friends with them. Mm -hmm. you know so you need to learn to choose your friend and you know and when i say choose your friend not necessarily people that you're 100 percent alike you know but people that even with your differences you know you can cope with each other yeah you know, yeah that's they would have their good sides as well well that's true though for me 
I think, um, you know, okay, what would you say about people that already have trust issues and then their friends do not understand that, okay, this person have trust issues, so let's follow accordingly until we prove ourselves to be trustworthy. Yeah, that's, you know, so more like you're going back to the point I already mm -hmm. talked about. That friendship wasn't supposed to start in the first place. Okay. There's no point having trust issues with somebody and you're trying to build a friend and seeing that if that that would change overnight or over a couple of days or a couple of years it doesn't make any sense if you have trust issue with somebody then there's no point being friends with, be that, friends person. with that person you, you can be friends with that person but not close friends maybe somebody you just see hi 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 hi, hi you know at work or on the happy street, birthday you know, bye but you know you don't have to be close with that person so there's no point building thinking it's going to change ah uh, okay and there's something you always say you know there was a time i was telling you you know you were like Messi, where is this person? I say, ah, I, I don't know. I don't know where the person is. We no longer talk or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you keep telling me, you just be isolating yourself. You just be, you know, cutting off, you know. I'm good at cutting people off because mm -hmm. I have, they've been warnings, you know. Let's say uh, you're stepping on my toes. You're lying on me. You're, you know, disrespecting me in a way I wouldn't do, do to you. I give you signs. I give you time to repent and you keep thinking because i'm smiling when telling you to stop it you keep doing it you know you don't want to stop so then i just wake up one day you do one thing that does not look like what you've done worse before and i just cut it off and i never go back so what would you say because you always tell me you keep cutting people off you are you know i mean why do you always say that to me uh when i say you keep cutting people off it's uh what i meant to just cut people off you know if, if, if we've not given them enough chance before cutting them off so if you cut people off for good reason happy days you know there's nothing wrong with that like i said every there are some friendship that that's got expiry date chicken you, you need to understand that okay that friendship has expired and like i said you know where you no longer share the same ideas or for whatever Vision. reason it depends on what you know what you want out of the friendship if that's not doing it for you anymore, and then happy days, cut the person off. Period. Period. <laughs> you say I like that part. Eh? Cut them off. Hi, Jesus Christ. Me, I cut everybody off. I <laughs> know. I don't care what you mean to me. If you cross the boundary and I tell you small, I tell you big. You having this interview for you to hear some certain things from me? No, you seem nah. so excited about cutting people. No, I'm just saying because you keep accusing me of that part. I'm not accusing you of things. You keep, I can't accuse thing, you of things when, thing I'm, when, you I, keep when saying I do to it me, myself. You, okay. You know, for thing, instance, you I've got I I something that happened to me recently where uh, a cousin of mine whom I've always had issues with anyway ended up giving my number to somebody else yeah you know who you know i didn't want to have my number in the first place because you know a lot of africans will understand when you're abroad and and there's some certain people you don't want to have your number because you know those kind of people yeah, would mentality. never ever call you to say hey how you how doing how is the family they just want to call you because they need help and they always want to get something out of you you know so i didn't want that person to have my number because i know how it's because of turn out. you know you gave the person my number which i didn't have issues with you know i just needed him to understand that you know, next time if you need to give somebody like that my number or anybody at all you know you should ask me first mm -hmm. you know i won't just give anybody your number for instance without asking you oh so this person asked for your number should i give it to him or should mm -hmm. i give it to her you know he went ahead and do that you know and i raised it all i wanted to hear was oh i'm so sorry i didn't mean you know i didn't mean for any harm or mm -hmm. i didn't i didn't think it in that direction you know i'm sorry and that would have been the end of it but this guy was whining kept on going about why shouldn't he give the person my number you know oh, uh -uh. so am i now a bad person because i gave somebody your number <laughs> so that drove me crazy because i realized that not not only have you given this person my number who's then has been blowing my phone up you still do not realize that you did something that it's, wrong it's, there's something wrong you know, you don't just give somebody out somebody's number without their permission. You know, I don't know how it works wherever anybody's watching, but you know, so it, that kind of a person to me, that's why that's why I said earlier that if you don't share some certain vision or some certain uh, um, degree of understanding, understanding, with some people, yeah, is is 
you know, letting them go is not pride, it's not arrogance, it's not ego, you know, it, it's just not what you're saving anymore. yourself. Because imagine having that kind of argument with that person, trying to let the person know that giving up my number to this person wasn't a good idea, you know, wasn't a good idea. You should have asked me first, and there's no how I managed to explain that situation. He still didn't get it at the end of the day, instead of him to just, you know, let it slide. You know, for the fact that, okay, I didn't get what this guy is trying to do. Let me just let it slide. Mm -hmm. He kept trying to play the victim. <laughs> saying, oh, so am I not a bad person because I gave somebody your number? Uh -huh. You know, now I'm trying to play the victim. So, you know, what's the point of arguing with this person? It's not going to make any sense. You're just going to keep going back and forth because that person obviously doesn't have a certain level of understanding to understand what the message you're trying to, to pass on. Okay. You know, and that's just like... Uh, a very very bare example there are so many other examples like that or so many instances like that where somebody will just not share the same level of understanding or or or, or, or clarity with you anymore and at that point in time you know friendship with that kind of a person will only lead to frustration, frustration. and you don't want something like that you let them go it's as simple yeah. as that okay first then um what else there's one more question i have i have in mind to ask you in private but i'm going to ask you in public so what's the best remedy let's say you really like a person yeah. like this person has helped you in one way or the other and you have a fallout a okay. disrespectful fallout with that person yeah. so what would you do in making sure that okay this this shit shouldn't happen again because i'm not sure i'm going to be patient enough to take it you've so, already said the answer so i mean in that case but you don't want to lose that that yeah, that's individual might be a female friend you don't Talk want to, to lose that's as, it's as simple as that and when they do it again and you know you cannot take it and that's the end you point. talk to them again it's as simple just as keep that. talking you you talk until you can't take it anymore and when you say you can't take it anymore mm -hmm. you know that's what you mean by a breaking point you know the, you know you, you 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 cut them off whatever but you don't not have a communication and just assume because most times mm -hmm. when we have issues with people like this guy i just spoke about you know i wanted to ignore at first i said you know what this guy is just so stupid you know what it's let not your fault it it's because you have my number in the first place maybe if you don't have my number you don't have anybody to give it i just blocked him up but i gave him the benefit of that to have a communication with that person so there are some things that you know, it, it would look very clear to you. You you would think you have a full picture of what that thing is. Mm -hmm. You know, but eventually, when when you have a proper communication with the other party, you would realize some of the things you yourself don't even know. You will, yeah. you will gain more clarity. clarity. Let me give you an example. There's this uh, lady, I'll call her, that um, we used to be friends together. Uh, myself, my late brother... You know, we basically went to secondary school together, mm. yeah, and we built that friendship from there to uni days and all that. So I went to uni, uh, the University of Ibado, and she was studying at the time at the Lagos State University uh, in Ojo. You know, so whenever we come home for breaks and things, we always go into campus. You know, normal campus yeah. life. We go to Unilag, see a few friends, go to Lasso, see a few friends. And on that very day, we called. I said, you know, what, are you in school? Say, oh yeah, I'm school. I will come to your campus now. Say, okay, cool. We got into the car, drove for like 20, 30 minutes. We called again. What's up? Where? What part of school are you? Oh, I'm in, I'm in my faculty. All right, then we'll block you there in like 45 minutes. You know, and just 15 minutes after that conversation, we had the worst accident I've ever had to this day. You know, my car practically spinned like 10 times and ran I've into the bush. My tire came completely out of the rim. Oh, like everybody gathered that car and thought they would be dragging our bodies. That's Fire. how bad the car was. Fire. You know, and from there, you know, we just sat down on the floor for like two hours. People were, you know, caring for us and all that. We left there, went to the hospital for checkup, you know, all through that day. This girl did not call to say, hey, what's up, guys? Are you guys not coming anymore? Because we were so traumatized that we didn't even remember where we were going to even have the decency to say, okay, let's call this call guy this and tell her what's happened. We were, we were traumatized. So nobody thought of that. You know, it was the next day I realized this girl didn't even call us. What if we had all died in God that accident? Fire. She didn't call us, nothing. The next day, no call. Four days later, we went back to school, no call, nothing. No, nothing like, what's up, guys? How come you guys called me twice? You even called me to say you're on your way. Eventually, you didn't show up. What happened? No, no single call. call. And I'm telling you, from that day till this moment, I haven't said a word to that girl. 
and that was the end of the friendship till today i bet she doesn't even know why we don't talk anymore yeah you know and that's strange because if you ask her, probably she would have something to say as well. Yeah. She probably would be somewhere saying, oh, they promised they were coming and then they didn't show up. Oh, my God. You know, so she probably would have her own explanation. So, yeah. so immediately, I knew at that point in time, like, this is not someone we should be friends, friends with. Friends with. You know, because I wouldn't do that to anybody. I mean, if you call me, you're coming. I would blow up your phone to like make sure, okay, you're you, cool. Yeah. You know, are you yeah. still coming? Are you not coming anymore? I'll give you the benefit of that. I'm not just, just going to sit down somewhere and assume that you've changed your mind. Even after calling you that, okay, we're on the way already. We'll mm. be there. And it's not the first time we're doing it. You know, anytime we, we're in Lagos, we're always we're going to Unilag. We see a few friends. We're going to Lasso. We see her and a few other friends we have there. So it's not like it's the first time we're doing it. Mm. You know, so for you not to even call for days, what am I even talking about? It's more like for eternity now because this incident happened more than two decades ago. And she might be angry that they didn't come and, and they did not call. Not well, and that friendship is that. dead on arrival. Yeah, so there's so many other so many reasons why you could cut people off or decide that this person is not worth being friends with. You know, yeah. so many things. And there are some people that, you know, for some reason, life situation just, you know, drag you guys apart and they would have been the best friends you could have. Oh, uh, yeah. I've had people like that as well. Yeah. You know, situations, life situations, we just drag you guys, guys apart. Not because you chose to let each, uh, each, each other, other go, go. but life situation just happens and you end up being friends with people that you shouldn't have even been friends with in the first place. Yeah, I know, you know? I know of people that I know that yeah. till today I still say that, ah, I wish me and this XYZ were still friends. Yeah. Eh? Thank God it would have been good. But then I'm not. I'm not crying over it because it's a spilled milk, but I shall know that it something would have saved that friendship. Apology, rightful apology, yeah. and uh, respect would have saved that friendship. Until today, yeah, I maybe communication as well would have saved it. Maybe uh, I sometimes think we, we had we, we had communication, but to communicate. the person in question was not ready to make amends of the way you know xyz acted you know was yeah. not ready we were still on the defense you know we will we, we'll rather cause you pain so that two of you yeah. can be friends again think, so I you think can come back to shell, apologize rather in than, not sure you, you just know. need to understand that uh uh it is not every friendship that has a lifetime expiry yeah but Some i wish that had a lifetime as, as expiry date and you need to understand when a friendship has gotten to that point where you need to discard it mm. because it's gotten to its expiration date. You know, so it's not it's not every friendship that will last forever. Yeah. It's just the unfortunate I, truth. I, I yeah. still like oh damn. I oh that was one friendship that I know that if there was like a trust, yeah. um respect and uh um willingness to change uh yeah. to change of attitude am i yeah. correct yeah i'm sure that friendship would have been a life life long friendship but because of respect lack of uh, you know whatever but it's gone it's spilled milk can never be gathered so it's okay okay thank you so much you're welcome uh, hey one last thing what's your impression of me <laughs> i like to ask everybody this question what's your impression of me like Till now, mm. what do you what do you think about me? Uh, I think you're a very stressful person. I think anybody who has you as a friend will be extremely stressed in life and uh, basically should have a very, very thick skin. You know, and uh, if the person is not healthy, you know, maybe <laughs> that, that, that could be a, a point where they need to stop being friends with you. If the person is healthy... <laughs> Happy days they can continue being friends with you. you know, if not, yeah. You know, there's no point. Basically. Why are you laughing? You hey, have my honest opinion. Hey, why? Is that what you think of me? Well, I just told you. You asked the question. Maybe you should no, have asked okay. in front of the no, camera. No, it's good. So they know. Yeah. It's not easy to be friends with me. But really, what's your impression of me? I said this bad ones you just mentioned. Okay, cool. It just sounded like you wanted me to repeat myself. <laughs> So I don't know what you mean by really. What's your impression of me? I just told you. Anyway, I'm what thinking. else you wanna? Okay, you mean maybe if there's any other one? Yeah, if there's any other one. Okay, let me try and think. Um, uh, you're 
you're a nice person, you know, to some extent when you want to be. And and I think you you listen, which is which is a very good. very good thing. You know, you listen. You know, you want to communicate as as much as you listen as well. You're not one sided. Mm -hmm. You know, and and uh, there's always a saying that if two people go into a room to tell each other the truth and they come out laughing, mm -hmm. you know, they've not told each other the truth. The I truth, think you're yeah. one person that you know we could go inside a room to tell each other the truth and you still come out laughing, not because you didn't get the truth. But you got the truth and you're gonna work on it. Oh okay. you know, so yeah, apart from that, you know, they're just full of stress in anybody's life, basically. <laughs> they know, you know, it's medically sound <laughs> to deal with you. Other than that, yeah. I think that's it basically. Okay. Anywho, I'm going to say my impression of you and okay. then we're gonna call it off because yeah. it's okay. almost time. Thank you. Okay. First of all, my impression of you is, mm. uh, I'm going to say the good part, and I say it all the time, yeah. because I'm one very blunt person. Okay. I say you have this godfatherism character mm. that you hold so strongly. Mm. Your friends can count on you. I mean, I'm not talking about his friends. I'm talking about my, me, I can count on him. Mm. I think in uh, one of my darkest time last year, you were mm. the first person and only person I could talk to. Even this year, you were the first and only person. Some some people to today they do not know that I could count on, and you have answers to most questions. So which I really adore. I told your wife yesterday. I said you truthfully do not know what you have, and she was just bluffing. It was just in her mind. Her mind was just growing, you know. So um, yeah, that's one thing I really really love about you, and uh, you carry people along. Mm. That is very like something I like. You like to bring people together. You hate mm. quarrel. You just don't like it. So mm. that God for that reason, character, mm. it is in play in the person. Mm. And the things I do not like about it is that you cost too much. Jesus, okay. I was in a plane. I've not landed. They called me an ass. Yes, he said, "Don't be a smart ass." And when I finally now agreed, he now said. Uh, after I now agreed to pick us up from the airport, and I said, uh, "How did you even say it?" Uh, I will pick you up by, uh, by four. Is it four? Four yeah. on the dot. Well, it all depends Asta on what you call it. Asked. That's not an insult. Your plane was gonna land at uh, three thirty. Three thirty. You told me you guys will already be out by three o'clock, which proved to me that you wanted to be a smart house. And the good <laughs> thing is, there are information on the internet. You know, so I, could, I was able to find out that your plane wasn't gonna land till three. 3.30, which then means that you're not going to be out of the terminal until at least 3.45. Sure. You know, so you basically wanted me to be there, you know, 45 minutes early to wait for you as the princess of Monaco, which I wasn't going to do. <laughs> so I told you, don't be a smart ass. I already found the information, you know, on the internet, and I'm going to be there at 4 o'clock, which yeah. then eventually made me the king of Monaco because you were already waiting for me. Yeah. And that's the exact traffic, same thing that happened to you. We're supposed to have a meeting for 2 o'clock. And you lied that it was one o'clock until you scream much the the uh, meeting details to me, and I realized it's actually for two o'clock. So you've done the same thing just before this interview, okay? And the, all the good things you said about me won't still change my impression about you, like I've already said in front of the camera. So Anything well, else? there's nothing else okay. because I cannot shout. I don't mm -hmm. have time. We have been meeting in six minutes thank you so guys for watching please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel and i will be back with more videos next time and god bless ay thank you you also have a youtube channel please guys you if you want to be intelligent if you want to know more about migration um how do you call it i've got three channels i've got uh samba lifestyle which talks about life in general immigration uh, life you know whatever you want to know about and i've got uh, uh samba tech which talks about smart home you know so I've, i'm a smart home freak you know so if you want to know about integrating your house and making it smart samba tech is the channel for you to follow and i've got samba movies obviously and and that's just all about my movies yes guys so please i will put his description down below please do well to subscribe to his channel unless they're active and i uh okay yeah let's stay active remember i know your ex do well to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video next time thank you very much well. thanks guys coming. bye